Hello, you boobers. So, I'm a mermaid. What do you think? Literally, guys, I wish I could highlight and contour like this every single day because this glow is crazy. Like, it's chunky, but it's just like <clears throat> in your face. You know what I mean? Huntsy, this highlights. Do you see that? Crazy. I know. Anyway, so uh, if you're following me on social media, on Snapchat and Instagram, you would have seen that I posted this look probably about a week ago already. No, not about a week ago. <laughs> um, and I asked you guys if I, if I should film it and I got like a lot of likes and people saying yes. So I was like, hey, why not? But the funniest thing after I, um, after I put this on Instagram, like I saw like people like a few days later posting like Instagram, um, make, can I talk? Um, posting mermaid looks so I was like oh I don't know if I should like but theirs are different I feel like a lot of people use fabrics and patterns on their face where I actually drew mine and um, they drew on their faces and all that stuff and wearing wigs and so I feel like mine is different um, but there are plenty of mermaid tutorials mine is really easy I use all eyeshadows and, li and uh, liquid liner so nothing like you don't need body paint or anything like that like no um, so, I, I really love, love, love the way this came out, and I'm super excited about it. So I hope that you guys love this look just as much as I do. Um, if you want to learn how to become a mermaid, then please keep watching. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, if you're not already, please subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, yeah, I'll see you in a few seconds. Okay, so we're going to start off with Benefit's Hula Bronzer. I absolutely love this con I, I love this as a contour shade. Um, it's not too warm, not too cool. It just gives a very, very natural contour. I don't know why I stopped using it. I guess because of all the contour kits and stuff, but absolutely love this. So this is going to be our transition shade. And then we're going to go right over that with Freak from the Urban Decay Electric Palette. The bronze or the yeah, the bronzer is gonna give a nice warmth and blendability to the other colors that we're gonna pop on top of it. So after I finish in the crease, I just go in and start lightly contouring the sides of my nose. Um, I do go in later and contour, but I just can't help myself. I love to contour, so I guess I just couldn't wait. <laughs> Now we're going to take this big fluffy brush. This is from BH Cosmetics, you guys. $2, I think it was. Oh my god, I've ne this this brush blends like a dream. I do this in every video. I just want to make sure we have no harsh lines and everything's blended together. Now I'm taking Makeup Geeks Envy. This is a deep, a very, very deep uh, metallic green shade. And we're just going to throw this. We're going to throw it. <laughs> we're just going to put this in our crease. Um, with a Delium, I don't know what number of brushes is. I should know by now, but I don't. Um, we're going to be using um, small circular motions and windshield wiper motions just to make sure that everything is blended out. Now taking Mermaid, how appropriate, right? <laughs> this is the Makeup Geek Shadow as well. And I am just popping this on the lid. This is a very teal shade with... Um, it has like golden or like champagne-y reflex in it. Um, after that, after I throw that on the lid, I am going to go in with Thrash from the Urban Decay um, Electric Palette. I think the two, they just make a very warm green, bright green color. <laughs> Now I'm just going in with a bit more of Envy just to darken things up. Oh. <laughs> now taking Shima Shima, also a Makeup Geek Shadow. That's pretty much always what I use. I don't know if you guys can tell by now. Um, anyway, so now I'm going in with Shima Shima and I am just going to be using this as my brow bone highlight and I'm also going to use this to highlight the tear duct or 
uh inner corner highlight i don't what is that area called like it i feel like the tear duct is inside of your eyes so you're not highlighting that uh i guess so i guess the inner corner yeah we'll go with that now um oh i guess i didn't do it in this clip but uh i will so now i'm taking freak and i'm just going to line my lower lash line with that and then i'm going to go in with envy and just smoke everything out because we want to be a sexy sultry mermaid don't we yes hunty <laughs> okay so here is where i went in and highlighted that inner corner <laughs> Now I am taking Freak on this Sigma, I don't know what number it is, but it's a highlighting, a tapered highlighting brush. I absolutely love this brush to contour with. I just feel that it fits in the hollows of my face perfectly. I haven't been using my NARS Eda brush, which I loved at one point, but this has definitely taken over. Um, it's absolutely amazing. So I'm just going in and contouring with Freak from the uh, electric palette. I'm gonna be contouring my forehead, my cheekbones, uh, my jawline, anywhere that I would normally contour. I actually got this idea, or yeah, from Callie York here on YouTube. Um, and I've seen it like on Instagram and stuff like that, but yeah, I saw her do it here on YouTube. So now I'm taking this color, Freak, and I'm also putting it on my ears because I just feel like, why is my face gonna be green and not my ears? So yeah, we're just gonna be coloring our ears in. Now I'm taking some liner and just lining my lash line just so that our falsies blend a little bit better. But I don't put them on right away. Um, so now I'm taking liquid liner and this is actually a paintbrush that I got from AC Moore. I think it was like $1.99. I'm just going to be drawing scales on my head. Uh, they're just like little half circles I guess or half ovals. <laughs> but yeah, it, it was actually really hard to keep my hands steady. But I feel like it came out okay. It was definitely easier the second time around doing it. The first time, I was like, oh my god. So then when I'm done drawing my scales, I took a little bit of freak, just a tiny bit, um, just to smudge out the lines that we just drew on our forehead. Just to make them look a little bit more realistic and not so drawn on. Now I'm taking more Freak and I am just filling in, like not in any particular way, just coloring in all the circles. So coloring my forehead green pretty much. Now I'm taking this Makeup Forever eyeliner. Uh, I think it's in 12L. I don't know how they, how people read these things. There's like 25 different things that could be names on them. But anyway, I'll link it down below. Now I put some mascara on and I am going in with Makeup Geek's Romance Blush. I think this is a dupe for NARS Orgasm Blush. But I'm really packing this on, guys. Um, I feel like this look has... To, well, I wanted this look to be very exaggerated and bold. Um, because I feel like that's what my mer mermaids look like. So yeah. Now I'm taking Stila's Magnificent, Magnificent, Magnificent Foiled Shadow and in the color Kitten. And this is going to be my highlight. I really packed this on too, guys. Like, I went ham with the highlight. Um, yeah. Here's where I went and went and started contouring my nose a little bit more. Then I just put a little bit of that Stila Kitten on the center of my eyelids just for a nice little pop. And I went in with some falsies. These are the Coco Lashes in the style Coco. Now I take a NYX lip liner. I don't know what color it is. I will link it down below. Um, and I'm just lining my lips for some liquid lipstick. I don't know who said that they can use liquid lipstick without a liner because they lied. It's hard. This is the Anastasia liquid lipstick in the color American Doll. 
Now I just took that Stila kitten and I am just highlighting my collarbones. And I also go in on my shoulders a little bit just to give them a nice little glisten. Now I'm taking Freak, the same color we use all over our face to contour and I'm just going to contour underneath and on top of my collarbone just to make them really pop. Um, I was using the same brush I used for my face but it was just too big so I went in with the BH Cosmetics blending brush I was talking about earlier and yeah just hollowing out my collarbones and then I do bring this up to my neck just to make it even more exaggerated now you're glowing boo <laughs> I just took a little bit more and put it on my lips because I just felt really extra and I absolutely love the way this came out. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you're not already and give this video a huge thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed. Can't nobody ever say it damn, damn.